haven't made much videos on the tiny town thing, but I actually we've actually decided to name on uh, RC Boomtown. But uh, as I get further along, I've been thinking about that I, I'd like to make, at the very least make a finishing video. So I'm going to try to start documenting some of the stuff we're doing. We're doing a uh, dig pit at the moment, like a uh, rock quarry, something like that. We're putting in a tunnel. I just got done wiring the wiring in the lights. I'm about to get them plugged in so I can show everybody that. But this is our tunnel. You can see down through. It's got an elevation change and a slight turn. And heck, as long as we're up here. The telephone poles aren't completely attached yet. They're just kind of sitting in holes as we work on them, pull them out, do more painting. Um, that's our farm. A little barn. That's going to be our fields. We're actually going to try to plant stuff. We got a road wide enough for two crawlers and some change. Works great for the 14th scale semis. A little tight for the turning radiuses. We've got the lights. I'm sure people have seen them by now in my pictures. But essentially we just took half inch galvanized tubing uh, conduit. Monster can lids. There's a little light up inside there. The telephone poles actually carry the current, the power to the houses. They're dual voltages from a computer supply. We've got 5 volts and 12 volts. 5 volts on the silver line. 12 volts on the red line. And I'll take some nighttime videos too. We got one more light to go up there. I gotta repaint it anyway. We're gonna do try to do some kind of four-way stop, or in this case it's three-way stop. Got some scale uh, security fence. We're gonna I haven't even really started on the main details yet of what I want to do, but uh, this is this is the best start I've got so far. Had some quite a bit of help from my cousin and my buddy Dabney and several others. Quite a few people helped out a little bit here and there almost every day that they've been out here. So big kudos and thank you to all the guys who've helped. And this is by no stretch of the imagination the end of it. We actually have one more trampoline. We used a trampoline for the base. We've got one more already and when I'm done that rock crawl course over there will actually end up coming out. We're building another course out back with some uh, big tires and this will be, probably be used for that. And I want to fill up this whole area with a little town. Probably going to be maybe six or seven more displays similar to this. Definitely doing a truck stop and I've got a little list of other ones we're going to do. I'll throw that up in the pictures. I've got tons of pictures, just not a lot of video. So I'll see what I can do to make a video later. This will be the entrance to our mine. There's going to be a little gatekeeper guy here guard shack little uh, uh office trailer type thing and then we've just got the little rc excavator and a bunch of the guys have the trucks and stuff already some of them have some tractors this is actually going to be expanded in time some of the dirt from over there will be moved over here we've mixed it with sand so it's a little more loamy easier to dig i was actually kind of surprised that my little rc excavator would actually dig what we done what we did already uh, this used to be the tabletop, if anybody remembers some of the uh, ATV videos. Um, just kind of repurposed it for this. But even with the hard, super hard packed dirt of the tabletop, my, that little excavator actually dug it. It took a minute, but it dug it. So, all right. Well, there we go for now. I, I kind of wish I'd have made some how-to videos as we went, but I've got lots more to do. This video probably won't even be posted until I'm a little closer to even being done. So this may be like the very beginning of our video. I don't know. I'll work that out when I get started. Because I want to do a lot more and it's all going to take some time between work and play and comps and everything else that we do around here. It's uh, not going as fast as I would hoped, but it's getting there. If this is the last one, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. Leave us a comment down below of what you think of it. And y'all have a great day. And if you're ever in the Cartersville, Georgia area, feel free to stop on by and check out the compound.
I think the battery's almost dead in this thing. I think you're supposed to be driving down the main road. so far I just unplugged it to go in for the night and it did this I was kind of thought it was kind of cool so I'm gonna see if it'll do it again here we go unplugged that's too freaking cool All right, unplug it.
How can you start messing up as soon as I start recording? Uh, it's like being in competition, RC competition. That's a... I was told about this trick trick on YouTube about vinegar, distilled vinegar, white vinegar, and uh, um, steel wool. We accidentally used stainless steel wool. That does not work, just to let anybody know. But it makes aged wood, and it actually works. I don't know if you can see how well that works. This was literally, I painted this on like seconds ago. I'm still holding the brush. And it already looks like it's aged a year or two. Very, very cool. I'm going to end up doing that to the telephone poles and the rest of this fence really very impressed with it i like it Ooh, even just as we're sitting here talking it's looking better all right i'm gonna continue i started off on the back side just in case it didn't work the way i wanted it to so but it actually works extremely well so i'm going to continue on with it
their crawl course. It's not really a crawl course so much. And get your headlights on. It's the middle of the day. What do I need one? Because it's dark in a tunnel. I can't see. Keep going. And then right slightly. There you go. Keep going. Right, right. You just hit my phone. <laughs> I was trying to be all cool, put it down, it's like bam, bam, bam. First look at the tunnel at night. That is pretty cool. The lights definitely did what I want them to do. And we got the doors on. Sorry, it's... There we go. That's what it looks like. And blurry. Too dark.